So, oh, this is a game called Train of Afterlife. First, I want you to, if you can hear the music in the stream, I want you to appreciate it for a while. I love it. I kind of get the theme across because it sounds like funeral music. But this game is about someone dying, so that's fine. This game is a psychological thriller, visual novel, released in German and in the German language and the English language. I believe it was first made in the German language and then released in English. Now, one thing I don't understand about this game is quite simple. The Steam description said, Oh, you're on this train, but why are you on this train? You don't remember how you got there and you don't know where it's going. Well, I think it's kind of... This is the easiest goddamn mystery of sol to solve. The game's title is Train of Afterlife. The title screen's a dead girl. Kind of obvious that she's not exactly going to the magic to the Disney World Magic Kingdom now, is it? No, I'd say she's going... to the place of New Coke and all the love that we have for Bill Cosby. It was dark. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see anything, not even a single ray of light. It was quiet. I couldn't hear anything. You know, this is actually very inappropriate timing, as two nights ago I tried to kill myself. I succeeded for a while, only to be saved by a friend. First, my thought was my brother, but when I asked him about it, he said he wasn't him. I'm just tired of living like this. If I have to die for that to stop, then so be it. Not even my own heart beats. It was empty. I couldn't feel anything. Not even my own existence. See, I've been like that before. The fun thing is, I actually did die. I had to be revived. There is another side. I saw it. I promise you there's another side. So, I felt my non-existence on DXM a couple of times. Pretty fucking amazing. There was literally nothing. I see. This is weird what all living things have to experience. Seriously, Steam description, how the hell is this a mystery? We're basically starting off with the girl being all like, oh, I died. This is death. Is there life after death? I guess it's something you'll never know until you experience it on your own. Oh, trust me, there is. Huh? And we're on the titular train. Tit! Tits! Dean and Lynn are in this game too! No, they're not. Where am I? What am I doing here? You just died! You're going to heaven! Or hell! God, why is there a mystery? Why did I pay 12 bucks for this? Alright, because it wasn't on the Steam sale. What is this sound? Yeah, I was going to read it during the summer Steam sale, but it wasn't, and I got tired of waiting for it to go on sale, and I'm a sucker for afterlife stories. This is a train. Hello there. I missed the gray scenery, an unfamiliar voice greeted me. I need to write. You're new here, aren't you? So is a new passenger appearing every now and then, so I knew it right away. The person who greeted me was other than a shadow. Rather, it's the only thing I can make out of it. Don't be alarmed. I'm sure you already realize you no longer belong to that world. Don't worry. You'll get used to it quickly. It's the same with all of us. We're currently on a journey. A journey? What kind of journey? Where are we going to? No one knows exactly where this train will take us to. There are those who just wait around patiently until it reaches its destination. I know I would be. I'd be meditating. Meditating and smiling. It's finally over. All of my pain is finally over.
Thank you. There are those trying to figure out by talking about the other passengers, such as myself. Speaking of which, I've introduced myself, haven't I? My name is Little Mary. You can just call me Mary. Of course, this is my real name. As you can see, we're nothing more than shadows that we used to be. Without names, memories, or nor our own bodies. It's difficult to figure out who is who. I thought I could at least give myself a name. How about you? Perhaps you want to give yourself a name. Do I name myself or... Wind? It's the first thing that came to me. Wind? It's quite a peculiar name, but I guess I'm not one to say. Question! If they don't remember anything about being alive, how do they know, one, that they're dead, two, that what, what a fucking train is, three, the concept of a name, I'm just saying, I'm just super saiyan, I'm just super saiyan two, and I'm just super saiyan three, this is what it feels like to go far beyond, and now I'm super sandwich four, nom 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 nom. Why did you call yourself that? Why? It's a good question. I don't remember. I love the soundtrack here. Very morbid and somber. I actually wanted to make a visual novel based on the afterlife myself. It was going to be called Gaia Plains It's Your Funeral, based off of a series I've been trying to get off the ground called Gaia Plains, which is a combination of the two of my favorite genres. Fairy Transformation and afterlife fiction. Don't worry, that's normal. No one here remembers anything. In any case, it's nice to meet you, Wind. I'll be at the sixth seat. Feel free to find me anytime you like. Seriously, this music sounds like a friend of mine has died. What should I do now? I'd like outside the window. Maybe you'll see blank whiteness, is what I'm guessing. Called it. I tried peeking outside the window. There's nothing other than the thick mist that extends beyond nothingness. See, I knew that because I've been dead before. There's a lot of nothing after death. You need to make a lot of it. It's truly a sight that's out of this world. I can look outside the window again. Oh. Check outside the window, bitch! If I hadn't been forgotten, I'd Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? I'm bipolar as fuck. Where should I go? Guess I'll talk to little Mary again. This is the 60th. What should I do now? Talk to the unknown person. Excuse me. Dayu. Call me Dayu. You must be Wind. Mary has told me about you. I'm like her. I'm new to this place, so I don't think I can help you much. However, I shall try to answer you to the best of my abilities. What do you want to know? Ooh, I've got a feeling that this will yield a positive result. I don't have a clue. What about you? Do you remember your own gender? No. <laughs> you stupid dead people. I love it. I love it. You've all forgotten the most basic elements, the most basic building block of a human. I just, I just, anyone who, anyone in my position would find such humor in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't explain the joke really. It's just if you don't think this is the most humorous thing you've ever heard, you probably respect gender roles too much. I don't think it really matters here anyway. Gender means nothing when we forsake our earthly body. It's all about the soul, the purest form of oneself. She's right, you know. In a place like this, you can literally be anything you want to be. That's good to know. Talk to little Mary. Oh, hello there, Wind. How are you doing? I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure, what do you want to know? How many people are riding on this train? There are five, including me, you, 
only you in this path, Nagar, last time I check. So I might change any times, the shadows can appear and disappear at any time without notice. You heard from previous passengers that, uh, that one can only stay on this train for a maximum of 12 hours. When we ride on the same train, each of us is bound to a destination. I'm intrigued. Giving to me anything you want. Anything at all. The living deserve that. The living deserve that so much. It's pure pain that it's not that it's any other way. Because if you're given the luck of the draw, too many are forced to be something that's not truly them. It's something this game got right about the afterlife. It's a reason why I want to die. I wonder what awaits us at the end of the journey. No, not at all. Speaks to the work of Lady Meng. Lady Meng? She's the Lady of Forgetfulness and I've heard about this bitch! I've heard about her! Alright, alright. I've actually read about this. Before you go before you reincarnate, you have to be given this potion by this Chinese lady. And that makes you forget everything about your last life. They must be about to reincarnate if it goes by the Chinese mythology. She used herbs and powers to create the five flavored tea of forgetfulness. Yes, I know about this bitch. <sighs> my memories are too precious to me, though. I want my cake and to eat it, too. I won't let anyone erase my memory when I go. And I take a sip to make one forget about who they are. This is all is just to ensure that every one of us is reborn with a blank slate. Oh, but I don't want to be reborn. I want to be born for the first time. That is why no one can remember about their past life. Isn't it strange? I'd forgotten everything about myself, and yet I can remember a mythology like this. That is fucking strange! Like... I would have imagined that if you forgot everything, you'd forget the concept of what a train was, but at the same time, can any of you remember having explained to you the concept of Frankenstein? Or Dracula? I always knew that, didn't you? Isn't it freaky? Isn't it freaky deaky? <laughs> I'm having fun with this game. It's a good question. There's a myth that regarding a train that carries spirits to the other world. Isn't that just like what's happening to us right now? I guess what ways is the end of this ride is the afterlife. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Everyone has a different answer for themselves. You probably do too. By the way, this is going to be a long ride. We want to talk to other passengers in the meantime. That's a good idea. Alright. Hey, Lack, if you're seeing this, here's an epic burn for you. Tons more decision making than gender bender DNA twister extreme. <laughs> Sorry, man, that is the biggest problem with that game. I didn't even get to a single choice in my Nadine route. I'll play that game when I'm ready. I just. I hate my body so much. I. I'd love to see it dead. This is the seventh seat. I'll show you now. Talk to this person. Excuse me. Who the hell are you? What? Me? You can call me Darwin, I guess. It's a random name. I couldn't think of anything better. Besides, someone Mary said it's better to have any name than none at all. I'm Wind. Oh, Windy. Glad to know you. So I'd like to say, but... Oh, you're stupid, especially since we are some disturbingly creepy train. Everyone here comes and goes so quickly. It's pretty pointless to point out they go around meeting and talk to people, not to mention they all go poof whenever they feel like it. Whether you ride on a train or plane, most people would rather sit quietly and wait instead of wasting their time talking to people they'll never meet again. I don't like Darwin. Matter of fact, I may be just burning any time. Save your breath from talking to me. I see. Why are you still here? Nothing in particular. You're an odd one, but I like that. Okay, I don't like Darwin. He, I, I hate him. In fact. Eighth seat. This is the 8th seat, my original seat, which should I do now? 
I am so bored. This game is, is interesting, but I'm glad I bought it, but I don't know if this is worth 12 bucks. This isn't the, this isn't the right seat. What should I do now? Wind? What are you doing? Oh, not the new one. I'm Wind. Blue bet that's what everyone calls me around here. Sorry, I'm a little busy now. Let's talk later. Okay. I'm a little busy right now. Let's talk later. Okay, if it's everyone... I think I've talked to every pony. This train is peaceful. What a peaceful place. It's nice to be here. Hello. There's yet another unfamiliar voice, huh? Wait a second. I thought there were only five people running this train. Little Mary, Die You, Darwin, Bur Bird, and me. Shouldn't be another person. Who could it be? I saw a shadow of a young... Boy, no, a young girl. I... Da 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 da. See, I want to pick girl, but my psychic powers are telling me I'll find picking boy far more interesting. Extraordinary feeling surrounded me, sensation like no other. I just think he was different from everyone else. What's your name? Wind? Wind? You mean like the breeze? Yes. What a coincidence. My name is Wing. Wing? Yes, the wing that flies in the sky. I don't think we should share such similar names. Feels like a matching pair. Yes, Wind and Wing. I like that. You laugh at me if I say I feel a strange connection to you. It's like you're my missing half. I won't laugh. On the contrary, I can't laugh because that's how I feel too. That was when the clock within me began to tick. An hour passed. All right, I guess that was the tutorial. The tutorial. <laughs> Train of before death. Airplane of before death. Yeah, that's what I'm calling this. I'm calling this game Airplane of Before Death. This game feels very peaceful. I like it. It's nice. Much like ghosts, this game is my thing. I'm gonna fucking fart because I need to shit. Did I make this game? Can't have. No one's a furry, and there aren't any transgenders yet. Huh? The blink of an eye, Wing was nowhere to be found. Where could he be? What should I do now? Go to your original seat. Guess we'll talk to Mary. Anything we want, huh? Oh, just die you. If you're looking for Mary, she is not here. She said she is going to the ninth seat. I see. Thanks for telling me. By the way, Jeff and see someone by the name of Wing. Chicken Wing? It sounds delicious. It's someone I met a moment ago. I've heard this the first time I ever heard of such a name. I see. God, I love this music. It's so haunting and yet calming at the same time. It perfectly demonstrates what death truly is. 
sadness and yet peace. Seventh seat. This is the seventh seat. What should I do now? Dr. Darwin, uh, it's you again. What's up? You know anyone with a new wing? Of course I know. It's you, right? No. I mean, wing. And that's your name, right? No, I'm wind. Never mind. Wow, that guy's an asshole. Reminds me of a guy named Will Marston I used to know. No, no relation to John Marston. What should I do now? I'm sorry, I don't know a bird. Looks like he's concentrating on something. He looks like he's concentrating on something. He looks like he's concentrating on something. I should take a little close. Must be some sort of cards? Oh, hi there. Are you here to play the tarot cards too? Tarot cards? I, I see, you don't know that yet. I hear from some of the previous passages that you may learn to know yourself if you try it. Like this fellow beside me, Bluebird, he, he desperately wants to know about his past life, so he tries it all the time. But you act like you've been here for days, Mary, but you can only be here for 12 hours. Isn't that correct? Doesn't the game end at 12 hours and I find out what the afterlife is like? I'm not sure if I want to. I understand where you're coming from. Sometimes not knowing anything is a blessing. Well, you have to force yourself. Like I said, do, do anything you want in this train. Your past memories probably don't mean anything here anyway. By the way, did you happen to sing by the new one? I'd ask, but no one's really used to know. No, I've never heard of them. Could they be a new passenger? I don't know. Humans. They're so strange how they can adapt to anything. Even this. I always found that interesting about them. Anything can be the way it's always been, after always after only a few days. It's quite breathtaking, isn't it? Tis the way it's been every time I've seen a human. <laughs> I'm starting to realize just what kind of creature I am. The best kind, obviously. Duh. No one had seen Wing but me. I ponder in silence. Once familiar voice greeted me once more. Wing, is that you? There she goes, looking for all over for you just now. I was there the whole time. What do you mean by that? You shouldn't worry about it. By the way, you've seen the tarot cards, haven't you? You heard from Mary that you may learn something. Or so Are you gonna try it? Huh? Aren't you at least curious about your past life? Like what kind of person you used to be? I don't know. A little, I guess. It's the same with me. It's not a bad idea to start a thing from scratch, having a brand new life and name, building a new identity and memories. Oh, I want to build a new me, all right, but the old memories must be preserved. That way, I'm still me. A perfect version of me. That's what I want. I've been in pain for all my life. And I want it to end. Either the pain or my life, I don't care which one. At the same time, there's a lingering feeling that something is missing. I should go ask for Woods Green Yacht. That's a good idea, I'll do that. God! Alright. This game's an interesting experience, but as a game, it doesn't look like there's many choices I can make. Alright, I'll go ask for everyone's opinion. I win. Do always look outside the window. In everyone's life, there has to be a window. Especially if you seek a breath of fresh air. A room without a window is suffocating, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, that made me think of Five Nights at the Furry for some reason. But you probably need the most. It's on the window. Oh god, Wing is who I'm gonna reincarnate as, isn't it? I tried peeking outside the window again. This has become a habit. Was I expecting anything out of that white mist? Where should I go?
Nah, I'm done for now. The game makes me go a little weird. I kind of like it, but <laughs> I was getting a little crazy. I need to snap out of it. I mean, I shouldn't even be thinking about this kind of stuff. I just tried to... I died two days ago. I came back to this plane, but I still died two days ago. I went by my own hand. I, I, I'll do episode two later.